<laughs> oh my gosh! Hey guys! I think the last time you guys saw me was like a year and a half ago. Hee hee ha ha hoo hoo. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I had to take a break for my mental health. And are we any better? No. But we are in a better place. Um, if that even makes sense, it doesn't matter. But we're here. And we're here to have a good time. And I'm gonna be vlogging today. And today I'm getting a tattoo. And you're coming with me. Yeah, I have tattoos now, which is kind of fun. It's very fun, actually. I've always loved tattoos and I've loved the way they look, but I used to be the kind of person who'd be like, sorry, I could actually never commit to a tattoo because I'm too indecisive. They are permanent, like lol. Like what if I get a tattoo and then the day after I'm like, ha, huh, I actually don't want that there anymore. I would like it in a different place. You can't remove tattoos or, you know, it's not a sticker that you can pull off and put it off elsewhere. Anyways, I'm very much over that now. I just see something pretty and I'm like, ooh, put it on me. What have I done to this eyebrow? <laughs> Ew. I feel like it doesn't even look that bad on camera, but it looks like I've literally smeared all up in my brow. But, where is my concealer? Oh my gosh, it's right here, <laughs> right in front of me. Silly. My eyebrows could be better, but this will have to do. Actually, no, they're not that bad. From a distance, they're not that bad. That's like my motto with everything right now. If it looks fine from a distance, then it is what it is. Like, for example, my eyeshadow, I'm just gonna like get the one color on this big ass brush, put it all over my eyelid, blend that bitch up into my crease. And if it looks good from a distance, it's fine. Look, it looks fine from a distance. Up close, it's really sludgy, but it's fine. Anyways, um, yeah, so I thought, yeah. Okay, so we did my eyeliner off camera and I was meaning to do like a really teeny tiny little baby wing But it just kept getting longer and longer and longer and you know now we're here Do you want to see something that I've become obsessed with? They are these pops Look! I don't know if you guys have seen them And they're put in these like little blind boxes and then you grab the boxes and then you get one of these And there's like different types of characters and themes and everything. I feel like I didn't describe that well enough. Look at this blush that I've been obsessed with and to all my olive skin tone girlies, let me push you onto something. It's this blush by 3CE in the shade Common Time and it's just an orange blush. It's a cream one. I find that for skin tones like mine, like tan complexions, anything with a yellow undertone, kind of like that, orange is our color. So I've started wearing orange blush. It is extremely pigmented, so I would recommend literally just dabbing it once and then building up the blush. Sometimes I go a bit overboard, but it's blush. Like, we love doing too much with blush. And then I put some on my nose. I also use this as a lip tint as well. Like, I love it. I added this to my YesStyle cart out of curiosity. I am so glad I did. I'm obsessed. I'm sad. I also kind of stopped putting mascara in my lower lash line just because no matter what mascara I use it will drip I'm gonna put some on anyways, but it will drip and I hate it So I've been trying to like put the tiniest amount of mascara in my lower lashes just to be like hey I actually do have eyelashes like literally just the tiniest amount and that's it. And this is a dry, 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 dry ass mascara too. I prefer my mascara to be dry though. Like, the drier the better. I've probably had this for like a year now. LOL. I'll make false lashes last like six months. I don't care. I do not have the disposable income for that kind of lifestyle. Anyways, I'm gonna put some, am I doing too much? Never. I'm gonna put some eyelashes on. And just on my outer corner, these are Ardell Demi Wisties cut in half. Oh, I don't know what's happening with my hair. I just blow dried it, but I feel like my part isn't parting. It's not doing the thing that parts normally do. Anyways. Guys! Let's get going to touch up! Alright, whatever. I'm over it. 
Um, what do I wear? What do I wear? Okay, I think I'm just gonna wear this top, some pants, and some crop. Cause I'm just getting a tattoo. We don't need to do all that. Um, but I feel cute. Also, my hair is black. Yeah, the last time you saw me, I had blonde hair, but maintenance was getting too much and my hair was falling off. So we decided to go back to her natural tones. Um, yeah, I'm so freaking late. I'm actually so freaking late. I'm, did I mention that I was late? This is my top. It's from IMG. I'm pretty certain it says Gia. Yeah. Anyways, cute. And this is the rest of me. What the? I don't even think you saw my outfit properly. Anyway, these are my pants. They're from I Am Gia. And I have to do this thing with the button because they're a little bit big. And I'm also the type of person to never ever return anything um, because I'm lazy. So I will wear them like this forever. And these are my Crocs. Okay, holy crap, I literally just went to go and get money and something to very quickly eat But it is without exaggeration. It is about a million degrees Celsius in Sydney right now um, So I decided to change my top as well Because um, it's actually way too hot and I cannot function and my uber is gonna be here and I'm going to arrive at my appointment on the doctor on the dot at 2 p.m. Because I'm terrible at time management. Oh my god, I, okay. Vlogging in person, I mean, vlogging in public is really scary and I'm stuttering because I'm really freaking scared. Um, but a new thing that I'm trying to do in 2023 is whatever I do, commit to it fully and act like it's what you're supposed to be doing. So this is what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm not going to be scared about it because I'm vlogging. Hold up. Oh, oh, I found it. I found it. Guys, this is where I'm getting my tattoo. Oh, I'm here at my appointment. <laughs> Here is my, um, guys, I feel really awkward. I feel really shy. But here is my tattoo design. I'm gonna get a little, um, what's it? A balloon dog. Yeah, on my arm. I'm thinking about just here for placement. Oh my gosh, also, I started doing my own nails. This is one hand. It looks like a little kid has just gone and like done arts and craft all over my nails, but I had fun, okay? And they look kind of cute. So maybe I could do like a nail video one day. Are you, are you seeing that? The detail. Um, what? Uh, sorry, I'm filming. I was, <laughs> I'm so, you just hear me talking to myself. And I'm home now and I am so happy with my tattoo. Here's a closer look of it. Wait, I was gonna prop it up somewhere. I don't know if you can see it properly and I feel like the camera isn't doing it justice. So I don't even think that's focused really, but I'll just post a photo of it on the screen, like right here. Oh my gosh, don't look at the way I hung up my laundry. Like there's literally laundry on the floor. Enjoy the tattoo photo. Wow, so good. Like, actually, amazing. Um, do you guys wanna see my pops? 
You know how I, t I was talking about how I'm really into pops right now? Spot the pop. <gasps> There's one. Two. Look at him. He's literally plotting world domination up there. He's just like on his little perch. Look at him. Isn't he cute though? He's kind of cute. People don't like him because he's a clown. And like usually, why is it so zoomed up? Usually, I wouldn't like it. Because I don't like clowns. But he's cute. And then, I have to show you one. What I'm about to show you is probably one of my favorites because of the way I've kept him. And he's the one that probably gets the most like amount of giggles every time someone comes over. Look at him, he's just so sad because he's been a naughty boy. Oh, he, he's so cute. But people are like, oh my gosh, June, you're actually a psychopath. Why are you keeping him in a jar? He's naughty. Do you not see the freaking uh, the ankle weight? Do you not see the jail attire? This man has been up to no good, so of course he needs to be put away. And that's just some of my little babies, my little children. Um, yes. There is more to be bought. I need to stop spending my money on like stuff like that. Cause it's kind of like, what are you doing? You know what? It's good for my mental health. If it's, I gotta go. I'm busy. Uh...